to do a tutorial on curls with the flat iron. I use the Royale flat iron, pretty purple, cheetah print. And, um, and then for heat protector, I use the Ion line from Sally's. And um, I use the heat protecting smoothing spray, and I use the Ion Brilliant spray, the shine spray, for afterwards. Um, if you have really oily hair, I wouldn't suggest using the Brilliant spray afterwards, but um, you could use it, you could try it and see. It's very, very light, so it's not, it's not a heavy product on your hair. I do straighten my hair with a blow dryer prior to straightening it with the straightening iron, so yeah. It's just easier for me because I have so much hair. Not really anymore, but I have a lot of hair. So just section your hair off. However, sometimes I don't even section it off really. Just depends. And um, make sure you have clips handy. And you just kind of spray it. I don't like to spray it too close and just brush it or comb it through. I don't like spraying it too close because then it's just, it's very, 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 very like oily and greasy. So you take the flat iron, you're going to flip it up 180 degrees. You're just gonna run it down. The slower you do it, the tighter the curl is going to be. There you have that curl. That's like a medium speed curl. It's the wrong clip. Um, so then I'm gonna show you like I'm gonna show you how how to do a tight curl. Make sure you're spraying that heat protector on your hair. This is a little extra protection. And this is going to be your super slow, tight curl. See that tight curl right there? I don't even know I curled that the right way. Super tight curl for you. And... Now, I'm actually going to clip this hair back so it doesn't get in the way anymore. I'm going to clip this one up because I want you guys to have a clear view. And spray that again. Brush it through just to make sure that the product is getting like all over your hair. If you do it kind of faster, it's going to be a looser curl. See, that's when you go a little faster. It's looser. I love my flat iron. It's the best investment I ever made. And also, when you curl your hair, like let's say you have a date to go on or a special occasion or whatever, curling your hair with a flat iron is so much faster than just straightening it. It's so much faster because you could go really fast you could mess up and you can't really tell because everything's just see there you have your looser curl everything's all together so you really don't have to worry about like messing up and stuff with the flat iron when you're curling it so you could just like you could just go really fast when i straighten it it usually takes me about an hour because you know everything has to be perfect but when I curl it, it usually takes me about half an hour because I could um, I could take bigger chunks. That's one. I don't have to go as slow to get the the hair all perfect. And yeah, it just doesn't have to be perfect. So you see, the the faster you go, the looser that curl is gonna be. 
and then the slower you go, the tighter the curl is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to link these two products down below so that you could um, see them. I'll put an after picture so that you could see how, um, how the hair turned out, how my hair turned out. I'm going to do it all on medium speed. So um, like I said, I'll link the products down below and, um, and the uh, flat iron that I'm using.
this video. Make sure you share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. My arrow's around here somewhere. So I will um, link the products down below, like I said. And uh, thanks for watching. See you later.